Well, climate deniers smelled blood in the water this week. This is after a retired NOAA scientist, John Bates, published a blog claiming that NOAA breached its own rules on scientific integrity. There is an intriguing twist in the climate change controversy this evening. It has to do with data said to be manipulated by scientists. And that data was given to then President Obama and other world leaders at a critical moment. Within hours, the chair of the Committee of Science, Space and Technology called for the research in question to be retracted. Now, perhaps there'd be a little less embarrassment for the committee and various news organizations if they had read beyond a headline. Because what is actually being called into question here is the timing of the release of the research by Thomas Carl, not the data itself. In fact, the so-called whistleblower himself said there was no data tampering, no data changing, nothing malicious. The research was published on June 26 of 2015. It was mere months before the Paris climate summit. But was the timing suspect? Actually, no. The journal Science has such an extreme vetting process, the research by Carl had actually been submitted way before in December of 2014. Not to mention the Paris negotiations had been ongoing for years. This wasn't some last minute decision. Bottom line, the science is sound. Even the so-called whistleblower agrees that the data is good, the globe is warming, and that humans are contributing. Bates' real beef seems to be that scientists should stay out of politics. But I ask him, when was the last time politicians stayed out of science?